so okay guys quick one um i think the last video i that i updated you guys with uh was about when i was excavating so i was checking the level i was monitoring the level with the excavator so as it keeps excavating so i was monitoring so i think that was the last video so i've opened up some places so i think this is only the, this is the only place we have left so i've opened up some places and i've done some setting out of some part footings we've opened up those places too so you can see that is the portion for part footing there's another one at the back you can see you can see so we've done some points for part footing so i want to up, up, uh, update you guys on that as well so it's just what i've been doing if you have been following my video by now you should be able to have a very good idea about what setting out really entails so our, our our pure task on sites our job description is just to focus on setting out and 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 monitor levels as well so and once you understand the, the process that it requires the the procedure the process you have to take once you understand that so you doing setting out on site is is not as as hard as we think it is so so today i want to set out the part footing on those spots that we've excavated like uh like i've done on these places so you can see so i'm setting out the part footing so that we can excavate blind and make sure we start our reinforcement on those places so um that's what i'm doing i'm st i want to continue the setting out today so uh, so let me quickly take you guys on that so um i'm still using uh laker and yeah, i'm still using laker so uh let's quickly take go through on that so my instrument is set i've done my temporary adjustment the boats levels they are there so uh okay let me quickly go to next one. so i'll go to manage uh that's where the job the folder is so i'll go to manage a presenter um f1 for job so the, the folder is there already so i have sid that's the name of the project and the operator so tois so i'll continue with that i press ok so the job is set so i'll press escape and go back to program so that's what we'll be doing our our instrument set so i'll go to program so i'll go to f1 for station setup so i need to do my setup so i'll go to f1 so i'll press f4 for start so he's asking me now that okay am i do i still want to continue with my resection so as i've said in the in the former video resection is still the best when it comes to construction uh, for some viewers to work on a construction project, resection is still the best because it, it gives you the, the, the privilege to set your instrument anywhere. You can I can I can move my instrument to the top of, of this heap now, set my instrument there and do whatever I want to do. I can come down to this spot set so you can set your instrument anywhere. So that's just the best part of resection and that's why we've we've adopted it for years when it comes to construction as a survey. Resection is still the, the best. Because it's, it's more convenient. So you, you set your instrument in, in, on an unknown point where you'll be able to set out as many points as possible. You'll be able to observe as many points as possible. So that's just the reason for a section. You don't, it's not composite. You have to set your instrument on a known point. So you can use, you can set your instrument on a known point and continue with whatever you want to do. So that is the best part of the section. So I'm choosing that. I'm continuing with the section. So I press OK. Uh, so he's asking me for the point ID. So I'm going to put the, the first benchmark and the second one. You know, I told you guys that you need at least minimum of two controls if you are doing resection. So at least two. So you can use three, you can use four, as many as well, but at least two. So I'm still using two for today. So um, my, my colleague is already at, at the first point. So he's there already. So I'll ask him to check now. So let me choose the first one. So that, that is TBM1. So I'll go to TBM1, this TBM1, I press OK. So I will now by setting before pressing any other thing. Uh, Uche! All right. So I'll by setting from here. Okay, so let me show you guys. Uh, you can see him. So, so I press uh, hall. 
I press all so it's going to record so now Uche come over so I'm done with the first point so F1 is saying measure more points so I need to press F1 so that I can measure another point you know I said at least minimum of two points so I'm pressing F1 to measure another point so F1 so that one is I'm using TBM3 for the second observation so I press list then go to TBM3 okay this is TBM03 I press OK so I'll turn my instruments to that direction so I have my TBM3 on top of this concrete here so I'm I'm directing my instruments to that place No, it's my instrument too. Okay, so he's there now. So let me by setting. Okay, so he's there. So let me show you guys before my observation so you can see him so i'll press hold again so you can see what i have so i have uh this is approximately 2 mm can you see guys so that is 2 mm so which is fine okay all right so i'll press you see you have, we have f1 for measure more points that is if you want to if you are not okay with this uh accuracy position that you are having so you can measure more points which is f1 then f2 measure in other phase that is if you are using face right face left for for the job that you are doing then f3 access accuracy limit then f4 so if i'm good with this accuracy position i'll just press f4 to compute i'll ask the instrument to compute so i press f4 so it's showing me now the, the coordinate of this point where where my instrument is where my set station is it's showing me the coordinate of the place so if i want to write it down fine but if i know if i don't need this i can just ignore it so i'll press set so station and orientation set so i'm good like that so now i'll go to the next thing so f1 for station setup we've done that so f2 is saying surveying so basically that surveying is if you want to acquire point on site do you understand what I'm saying? Like you want to acquire data on site and you want to use this resection method. So you just go to F2, then continue with your data, continue with your task rather. But if you are, I'm doing stakeouts for today, so I'll just press F3 to continue whatever I'm, I want to do. So I'll press F3 for my setting out. Stakeout is also the same thing as setting out as I've said earlier. Also, there are some instruments that I usually out as their own reference. So I'm using stakeout, so I'll press F3. So F4 to start. So now... I need to put in the point that I want to set out. So I'll go to, I'll press this arrow, I'll toggle to where I have Easting Nothing and Height, where I'll be able to input my Easting Nothing and Height because I've, I didn't save it on the instrument. So that's why I have to input it manually. But if you already have it on your instrument, so you just go to, you also go to Easting Nothing and Height. So just put the code and you call it about, I want to input it, I have it on my, on my phone so i'll just input it manually so input i put the code so i'm using a as just the code enter so input again so i will now start inputting the, the coordinates so the first point is uh my easting is two eight nine zero nine seven point three two three enter my nothing is input six eight nine zero seven seven point 
three four two enter i'll press ok okay you saying that point already exists are you sure you want to variety the data so i'll press yes since i'm not saving it on the instrument so if i wish to save it i will need to put a new code that is different from the one i've been using before so now you can see the arrow is directing me to where the points will be so i need to go to my left with this 40 44 degree 18 minutes and 53 seconds so i'll be turning it gently i'll be turning it gently i'll be turning it gently so till i get very close before i will use my slow motion hey Auchi. so i'm already in two degrees so i can just use the slow motion screw the horizontal slow motion screw i'll be using it to turn it gently 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 so till I get to zero zero, until you get to zero zero, you must be very close to zero zero, at least to some seconds. So you can see now I have zero zero seconds. So this is fine. So you must not touch your um, horizontal slow motion screw. You must not touch it until you complete your setting. Because once you once you are away from this degree, that means you are doing the wrong thing. So you must make sure that this your degree, this horizontal angle must be at zero zero till you finish your, your setting out till you complete this point that you are setting out until you input another coordinate it will not direct you to another angle but once you are still on this first point setting out you must maintain this zero 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 degree zero zero minutes zero zero seconds then the distance below it will keep showing us the distance so let me direct him hey, Auchi. The other side, small, 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 small. Go, 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 go. Okay, you don't, don't pass, you don't pass. Come back, small. To your right, small. Very small to your right. Too much. Small, very small. Too much, too much. Small, small. Yes, yeah, small, small. All right, check your bubble. So I will measure, it's already at the point, so I'll press, I will toggle, I will use this arrow here to go to where I have distance, so I'll be able to measure, so I'll press distance. So I have 1.99 to me, so it needs to move closer to me, 1.9 meter, that is approximately 2 meter. So come to me, 2 meter, 2 meter to me. So you use that arrow to monitor the movement. Yeah, come this side, you don't come out. Don't pass, don't pass. Come back, small. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Small. Small. Very, very small. Okay. Check your bubble. So let me check him again. So I'll press distance again to confirm. So I have 1.99 before, so let me measure again. So now I have 0 0.6. So two foot back, two foot back. So I have zero point zero five, which is five CM. So five CM back, five CM back. Check your bubble. So I'll measure again. Okay. I said 5 cm now. Back. Yes, now back I see that time. So now, go half of your foot back. They are small to this side, small. Check your bubble. So I have 4 cm. 4 cm to me. 4 cm to me. So I'll measure again until I get to where I'm going. So this is 1 cm. Very small. 2 cm to me. 2 cm. Small. Check your bubble. 
So let me show you guys. So it won't be as if I'm I'm performing magic. So you can see guys. So I'll measure again. Okay. I have one cm. But I'll put it there. So since it's, it's, uh, it's the point that we are still going to excavate like we did for all these places. So one cm difference is not too much for me. But once I'm doing the normal setting out on blinding, so I have to go to the list of 4, 3, 2 mm to make sure that yes, I'm very, very precise about that. So that's all this guy. So I'm sure by now you must be able to to do certain by now if you have been following all my videos because i don't see anything that is hard about it because we've been we've been using i've been using a lot of instruments i've used uh chcnav to do certain out i've used laker too as well so by now you should understand the procedure the process it takes to do certain out on site even if you are not a surveyor if you have if you have been following my video and you, you have access to the instruments you should be able to do that and even if a surveyor is doing that on site you can always as well follow up and and see whatever is going on so that's it, yeah. So I will keep you guys updated as 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 soon as we, we will start our blinding. So now we'll do the normal setting out on the blinding again, because I must reconfirm the setting out before our iron benders, the the reinforcement guys starting the, before they start their reinforcement on site, before they start fixing those starter bars for the columns, for the base and whatever. So I need to reset the point again after the blinding. So I will keep you guys updated on that. Just make sure you are following. Make sure you are following. Uh, and this time I will, I will make sure as I will try my best as much as possible to make sure that I drop a video almost every week. So I will try because the task I have, I have ahead is, is a little bit much, but I will try my best. So just make sure you keep following, keep checking my my channel, and make sure you keep yourself updated. So that's it, guys. So I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Thank you.